Hello everybody and welcome to my Godot 4 tile map video that I promised a long long time ago. Alrighty guys, so in this project we are going to learn a lot about tile maps and terrains and how to place tiles programmatically and manually and we're going to create this project. So if you're into that kind of thing, stick around and maybe you'll learn something. By the way guys, I created this asset pack specifically for this project. So if you want to check it out, it's on itch.io and all of the source code and everything is on GitHub. So let's get started. Alrighty y'all, let's open a fresh new project. All I have is this tile map PNG you could pick up in itch or GitHub. So what we're going to do is we are going to create a new 2D scene. And let's name it world. If you want to rename it, you can also right click. and. If you want to navigate around this window, you can either middle mouse button press or you can hold spacebar and click and that's scroll wheel in and out for zooming. So we want to add a tile map. Whoops. So yeah, you could either right click add child node or come here to this plus sign and add the node of your dreams. <laughs> So when we click on this tile map node, we get this inspector window that shows us different properties. Also, we have a tab under here. It says the edited tile map node has no tile set resource. And when we come here, we see that it is in fact empty. <laughs> so we can come here and create a new tile set. And once a new tile set is created, we can click into it and get all these delicious properties. <laughs> So by the way, depending on what uh, image you use, uh, for instance, our tile size is going to be 16 by 16. Anywho, uh, I would urge you to always when you're in Godot, just mess around with different attributes and see what it does. So here we're going to be using the square tile shape, but switch it around and see what's happening. It's pretty interesting and it also can give you some game ideas. Um, and if you ever want to go back to what it was originally, you just click this reset arrow and bam, we're back in vanilla. So there's physics layers. This is about collisions, terrains. We will use that in the future. Navigation layers. This is for AI pathfinding. Custom data layers, a really awesome addition in Godot 4.0. Look at all of these different properties and see what you can do. But anyways, um, we're going to want to go into this tile set tab and we want to drag our tile map image into here. The atlas texture was modified. Would you like to automatically create tiles in the atlas? Yes. So in Godot, an atlas texture is very important to know about. It's when you have a, a texture that you then want to crop out different sections of the texture. So for instance, we have a seed, plants, and all these various tiles. You can see here that even though our texture is 16 by 16, this tree is bigger. So what we can do is right click, delete, and then come here to select, select this and drag it out. And now this is 32 by 32. So in the setup of our atlas, the ID is zero. This is going to be important in the future. We don't have a name for now. Our textures here. These are the margins. If you need to um, mess with them, you could do that. Separation um, for us, we don't have any of that. And our texture re region size is, um, you know, 16 by 16. So we don't need to mess with this. Um, and yeah, there's texture padding. We can leave it as it is. Um, yeah, we kind of mess something up in the future. <laughs> we messed that up, but it's easy fix. Okay. So, um, then when you want to, so, so this setup is for the whole uh, atlas as a whole but then when you want to go in and edit each an individual tile you come to the select part and then each tile has these properties um we'll use this paint property in the future it and it's very powerful and interesting but for now uh let's just look at the different properties so within this uh atlas we could see that this First tile has an atlas coordinate of zero, zero. And when we go to the right, the X increases. When we go down, the Y increases. Um, when we want to animate, we will come here to this property, uh, rendering. I could change the render properties of this cell. Like for instance, I'll lower the alpha, but let's put it back to normal. Um, 
um, terrains. We will use this in the future and this miscellaneous properties and the probability. I will show you that very soon. So when you want to come in and draw, you come to this tile map and uh, this tile map tab and I can let's zoom out a little. Let's come here. Let's go back to our origin. We don't want to draw super far off. And I can click on a tile and then draw it. If I uncheck the eraser, let's uncheck scattering. And simple, when I use this pencil, which you can uh, write, uh, click D for pencil. Uh, if I want a straight line, you could... I, I don't really use this. I prefer holding shift down and then you could use uh, the line with the pencil. Um, R for rectangle. Oh, oh yeah, it's it's a it's a bug because uh, when you click R, it uses the ruler. But hopefully, I don't know. I don't know if it's a bug or. <laughs> but yeah, rectangle. Uncheck this. Let's click back to the mouse, and we can use that and paint bucket B. So D for draw, paint bucket B. Um, so since the tile map uh, inherits from a node 2D, when you're pressing these shortcuts, it will do these shortcuts as well. So you could see that the eraser is E, but also rotation is E. So when I press E, it doesn't go to the eraser. It goes to uh, this. So uh, be, keep that in mind. Um, but right click for eraser is great. Um, if you want to use this, if you have two different tiles, and I want to switch to this, I could use the P picker, the shortcut, and then go to that, which is nice to have. Um, but a very uh, nice tool is this scatter property. So I could select multiple tiles and it'll randomly choose which tile to place. So let's go back to this, uh, these tile properties. So uh, remember there was this miscellaneous probability. This is actually tied to the scatter property. So if I want these flowers to show up less often than the grass, I could change the probability to 0.2. And then if I want to do this, uh, set this probability tile to multiple um, tiles quickly, I can come here to this paint, select what property we want to change. Uh, so this probability, then I can use this picker pick this one and I could paint it on to multiple properties, which is super cool. Um, so now if I come back, let's use the scattering with the rectangle tool and let's see, you could see there is significantly less flowers because we lowered that probability. Alrighty, so before we go wild on drawing out our area, I want to use different layers. So I'm going to choose the rectangle and the eraser and erase everything super quickly. And I'm going to come here back to the inspector. And for the layers, I want the zero layer zero to actually be water. And then uh, layer one could be the ground. So now when we come back to the tile map to draw, um, before we draw, we need to keep in mind uh, what layer we are actually drawing on because now they are different. Okay, so we want, now that we have a water layer, let's draw some water, but our water tiles are actually animated. So we need to set up the animation for them. And actually with animation layers, uh, only the first tile needs to be um, activated. So these other two, let's just delete that. And then let's come to select, click the first tile. And we're going to come here to this animation property. So there are three columns here. So let's add three and then we'll add the frames. Um, each frame is a one second duration, so that is fine. And now when we come back to tile map, let's click the square. It should be animated. So let's add a camera to test it out. You can see the crosshairs of the camera. We could uh, zoom it in a little bit. 
Oh, but you could already see that it is in fact animated. And let's let's uh, save our scene. So I like to create a scene folder, and let's just save it in there for now. And you could see that the the water is in fact animated. And you can mess around with the times, whatever floats your boat. <laughs> but feel free now to uh, just mess around, make something nice. We're gonna be changing it a lot, so especially since we're going to be drawing with the terrains so don't get too crazy we'll make it look a lot better because now you see that it's very rugged and straight and sharp and with the terrains it will will clean all that up but yeah that's the first part of this tutorial i hope you're enjoying it um i hope i was clear on everything if you have any questions just leave them in the comment section and i will get back with you with part two <laughs> just want to say a big thank you to all the patreons who help support me bring content like this valerio dragonbite 79 dream titan patrick kelly carlos morales michael Schaffenacker, clayman raziel takumi and svetliaka 92 big thank you to you guys and bye